Hello my friends, this is Wupnik again with the Michael channel. No, no. Um, this is again Michael with the Wupnik channel. Sorry. Once in a while I'm doing some videos because my subscribers have asked me to do this and that. It's just uh, easier to explain something on video instead of just writing something. And today I will do a video about how to install a film into a 35 millimeter camera like the Canon AE-1 program. And when you know how to load a film into this camera, it is basically good for all the other 35 millimeter cameras. So first of all, you have to open the package, the little box here. Let's see. Requires a little bit force. And here it is. Yeah, there is a little uh, special tank, a little case, however you want to call it. Yeah, most of the 35 millimeter uh, films are coming in this plastic case here. You just open it up and you will see, ah, here's the cartridge. Here is the uh, 35 millimeter film cartridge. You can see this here, this is uh, shaped like an L, I would say, faintly like an L, and this part of the film is called the leader, or the lead. Yeah, this, it is cut like that in order to make your life a little bit easier when you want to uh, uh, mount, if you want to uh, load this kind of film into a 35 millimeter camera. On mostly all 35 millimeter cameras, yeah, the uh, actual cartridge is located here on the left side. And in order to, to load the film, you have to open this big door here. It's one door. No uh, screen, no LCD screen, just a big door. Let's try that. In order to do that, just press here with the Canon AE-1. It's with other cameras. The button is located somewhere else, but the principle is the same. You press this little button here and then you try to pull up this thing here uh, easy ah you see ha ah, it comes up a little bit and now yeah so look 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 ah. Ah. and now it opened look at that that's the inside of a 35 millimeter film camera so here you see this little uh, black rectangular thing. This is your, your shutter. Over here you see a spool. This is the recipient spool, the destination spool for the film. You have to put it in here and, and then uh, transport it here along the shutter in order to produce pictures. And of course here is empty space you put in the uh, canister itself. It's a little bit odd when I'm standing here right now. Yeah, something like this. And then you have to have to move it all across here. Now the actually uh, the uh, loading of the film. Yeah, nothing is in here. So you just let the cartridge, the container fall in here. Then you put down this button here and it catches the cartridge and now it cannot be removed anymore. And you just put now the film across the shutter and you can see here little slots. Yeah, and these slots are meant to uh, install the film so that it catches, so that any time when you uh, put a, uh, an, an, another shot, yeah, that see, uh, this reel is actually maneuvering forward. So let's try to put here the uh, film into this slot. Yeah, just put it in a little bit stern. Okay, this looks good. Uh, maybe tension a little bit, yep. Also make sure here is a wheel, that those teeth of the wheel are catching the film. Yeah, let's see. Ha! You see, nice, it caught it. 
and here are the teeth of, uh, of the wheel. See, that's it. Now the film is caught. Now you can just close the bag like this and you are in business. But the advancing numbers here are not evidence that you, uh, that you have actually put in, loaded the film correctly. Because even when it's empty, it will add one uh, shot after, after the other. A good indicator that the film was inserted, loaded correctly is this button here, this little knobble. When the film is not incorrectly, it will not turn, but it will turn when the film is transported just fine. Hmm, see? It works. So I put in the film just correct and uh, now I can go on a photo shoot, on a nice photo shoot with my 35mm camera. My friends and subscribers, that's it for today. This was my short class about how to load a 35mm film into a 35mm camera. Well, friends, have a wonderful weekend. I will have a wonderful weekend and enjoy your life. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Today is September 5, 2019.